Brennan Varan, I'm out here with Yo, Audio Mac, gang, Rolling gang. Loud, five year anniversary. We're about to welcome an icon to the podcast. I love McConan. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? How you living? I'm doing good. How you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. Feeling great? Yeah, about to go on in about an hour. About an hour? Yeah. All right, shades, so first man. off, oh, yeah, we got to talk that. about this fit. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's right, just relaxing Michael. before stage right now. <laughs> you know, I'm going to change into something else you a little bit. Tell us about yeah. the bag. This bag is actually from my friend. Uh, he in Italy. He just designed him, so he told me to try it out. It's called Savant. So, shouts out him. Oh, crazy. Yeah. How's it feel to be out here uh, rolling loud for the five-year anniversary? It feels good. It's my first time here. I was supposed to play in 2014, but things, uh, you know, some crazy shit. Club went up on Tuesday. Got down, you know, it's crazy uh, shit happened. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, so I'm glad to be here now on Saturday. <laughs> on Saturday? Yeah. Um, what are you looking forward to performing during your set? What I'm looking forward to performing? Yeah, uh-huh. Everything. Everything. You know, I'm just looking forward to seeing the fans and see what songs they know, see which, you know what I mean, see which, what they vibe with. I'm just looking to have a good time, you know. I just love being on stage at festivals and seeing crowds that want to have fun. Wonderful. At this point, McConan, you're a veteran. Uh, I think uh, it's easy to look out around the uh, crowd at Rolling Loud at uh, all the artists performing today and see a little bit of McConan influence. Um, how does it feel to uh, be this kind of forefather of a, of a particular style? Uh, it's really flourished. It's cool. I mean, I don't know. I just just do my thing and want to inspire others to do their thing. So I, you know, I hope that's what everybody's doing is just being inspired and doing their thing and inspiring others. So um, it feels good. I'm just, you know, I still feel new at all this. So you know, like I've, you know, I'm just soaking it all in still. You just dropped a new single, correct? Yeah, I just dropped one last night called "Drunk on Saturday." Speaking of, I'm a little tipsy right now, but um, yeah, what "Drunk on Saturday." Huh? What is your drink of choice? Vodka. I like vodka on the weekend. <laughs> no, but it's but, not water. It's vodka. I mean, well, you when you, you you're talking alcohol, but of course it's water. <laughs> Got me sweating now. Right. <laughs> oh, it is hot as hell out here. We've been sweating all day. Yeah. How do you uh, how do you get in the zone before uh, hitting the stage out there? You know, I really just go in my uh, my trailer, my room, wherever I'm at for a little minute and just pray, get in touch with uh, my higher power, and you know, make sure I could be you know the best I could be when I come out there on stage. I just try to you know not not think too much about everything and just be uh, thankful for the opportunity and you know just give my best. I hear that. Um, now you come from Atlanta. Yeah. Now you're in Miami. Yeah. How would you compare the heat from Atlanta to Miami? Oh, it's kind of the same, but you know Miami got that beach, that beachy breeze. Yeah. So like you got a little breeze by you and stuff, and it feel good. But uh, Atlanta just be hot, hot Atlanta, no wind, just <laughs> no forest. beaches. Yeah, no beaches. We've been praying for a breeze all weekend. Really, I've been feeling them. I felt them closer by the beach. Word. So we talked about the new single. Um, what's the new music like? Is there a, has been, there been a change in approach? Uh, I just feel like I'm advancing in Olive McConan or McConan. That's why the new uh, EP is called M3. That dropping June 21st, and it's just you know like my original style, you know, and I'm just being a little more confident in myself to, you know, just do what I want to do and try music that you know, hopefully inspire others and make you know, make it do what it do. But I just like having a good time, seeing people dance and shit. So I wanted to bring that back into definitely the new music. So definitely some dance vibes, some good times, you know, like summer shit, you know. What producers have you been working with lately? I just left the studio with Chad Hugo from the Neptunes. Crazy. Yeah, we just worked like two days ago. Um, How was that experience? Oh, surreal. He's like a god of music to me. So I was in there like geeking out and like, you know, just like, oh shit, like, you're you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, I was fucking up on a song and shit. Not fucking up, but like, you know. He was just like, oh, this is kind of sad. And I was like, oh, no, I failed. <laughs> I don't want to bring my sad vibe to you. But no, we got some great ideas down and some good hooks. So, like, it turned out to be well. But uh, he's, he's a legend, and he uh, definitely showed me love and gave me some, some good words and motivation for longevity and, you know, staying positive in this industry. What was the best piece of advice he gave you? Uh, you know, just keep doing you. That's really it. Just keep on your style. So, you know, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we can do. Yeah. Cause you know, I guess he's seen a lot of 
artists, uh, you know, go through many different styles or, you know, type of waves. And it's like, you know, I think I, I mean, like, you know, I think everybody can say, like, I got something original. So just keep on trying to do my original thing. So I just, sometimes I get discouraged and be wanting to do, like, you know, the trendy shit or whatever. But it just felt good to hear from, like, one of my uh, idols to tell me just keep doing my thing. So I mean, if you've heard McConan, whether it's the, uh, the, the trappiest or the, or the softest, I think, it all runs through that same original thread of I Love McConan. It all sounds like you. Right. Is it important to keep mixing and matching styles and trying to, to push yourself to new limits? Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, music's evolving, the listeners evolving, the people are evolving. You know what I mean? Like, hip-hop or not even hip-hop, but just music, it's just not one, one, one person anymore. Like, one, one group of people that listen to it. It's like, you got, it's all access everywhere, so you got all these people into all these different genres at one time. Like, Old Town Road, for instance, kind of got the country song, and it's, you know, killing it. So, like, you know, I just think, like, I'm just staying into music and just taking, taking, uh, inspiration from all fucking genres. So for someone new to McConan, where would you say they should start checking out street music at? They should start right on Drunk on a Saturday that just dropped yesterday on Friday and then uh, go back. Just you work know? your way back. Yeah, work your way back and you'll see how I've grown, evolved or, you know, did, did whatever I'm doing. <laughs> a lot of people out there on the bill. Anyone in particular that you've been trying to get into the studio with? Yeah, a lot of them. I've been in the studio with a lot of them, but uh, I'd love to get in the studio with D Savage, Sheck West. Um, you know, y'all got everybody here. Like, everybody you know, here. So it's like, Literally, I'd love to get in with all, all hip hop is pretty here this much. Weekend. You know what I mean? Anybody who wanted to get in with me and we could make some dope shit, I'm, I'm down. So Are you a just, fan of Wayne? Out. Yeah, of course. What? Like, I'm scared of Wayne. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like, you know, the uh, legend of all legends. You know what I mean? So it's like. We've been talking about Wayne as, uh, as arguably the goat all day. So. Definitely. I mean, he's an icon for real, and you know, Seriously. I'm just honored to be in his presence. Well, hey man, it's good chat with you. No, Rolling Loud five year anniversary. Yeah. Good to have you out here. Yo, thank you guys for having me. Let's get it. Audio Mac, I love McConan. Thank you, man. Of course.